already. Okay, welcome to a Sunday edition of um, Pallet Wood Decor with Allie. Yes, get ready. We're building a GSP cutout. It's gonna look kind of like that. If you're not familiar, f familiar? <laughs> Familiar? She wanted me to build it, but I decided it'd be a good project for her to do. So uh, I will uh, take you through step by step and... <laughs> I'm gonna be your, your guinea pig. Okay, so first things first, we need tools. Okay, reciprocating saw, saws all, like a lot of people say, right there in front of your face. Yes, okay, we need that. We need... Punch. Ooh. We're taking out nails. Hammer. Nails is a one. Do you have safety glasses? Did you buy me safety glasses ever? Oh gosh, I hate these things. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> Take this box. Paint? You can put all of that, uh, all our tools and stuff in that box. Oh, that's what that box was for. Alrighty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty much it. There is gold. Oh yeah, I like some gold. Well, there you go. What other tools do I need in here? Where? Wait, what's that other thing called? Where'd my hammer go? Hammer. Punch? Punch. Okay, you carry that. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll get the extension cord. This is gonna be so fun. Pigeons. We're off to get some pallets. Basically, just gonna cut all the nails in half from the boards we want, and then use the punch to take them out of the board. We'll just cut all these up. Cool. And then we'll have them. Okay. And I will show you. I'll show you how to do the first couple. Okay. And I'll let you have it. Sweet. So once you have the boards cut, you gotta take the nails out. And I made my own punch, but you can just get one, I guess, at the store. Basically what I do, this little tray under here, try to punch these out. Doesn't take much. Sweet. One down, a hundred to go. Yeah. Which side am I going to want to do it on? The one where the nails were big or small? Other way. Whatever was facing up when you took them apart, I think is going to be the best. I haven't used spray paint ever? Once? That one? Just in general? Oh, spray paint in general? Yeah. No, it's not I too bad. Okay, shake it more than that. You got to hear it. See, the, there's a ball in there? Oh, yeah. There you go. And you can tip it upside down and it go like this sometimes. Yep. And then keep shaking. Yeah, I don't know how much you're gonna wanna... Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, you're right, lay it on a little thicker. It's like soaking it up. Yeah, it's gonna, that's gonna that do that. Might need a couple coats. You have a much more methodical approach here than I do. So posh.
Okay, so. Oh, we got a sand, darn it again. We have all of our boards already. They've been drying in the sun, lots of different colors. So now I think what we're gonna do is distress them by just, I think just sanding them. Yeah. Sanding them, light, a light sand and. Then we'll put them in order and glue them together. Yeah, and you can just sand them as much as you want, depending on how much distress you want. How distressed we want them how, to be. How stressed out you want them to be. I think we need a slightly more aggressive sandpaper. Because they warped a little bit? Yeah, because they warp and they're not straight, so it'd be kind of hard to glue them together and make them actually stick. together and make them stick. We've got half inch MDF, half inch maple plywood, half inch construction plywood. None of it is the right size. Winner is? Maple plywood. And we're gonna chop her in half? Yeah, we need, we need a piece that's wider and shorter. I think we can just cut this in half. All right. It should work. Sweet. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, huh? Voila. Un voila. I put it right next to my hammer. We have this all on tape, we can go back and look. <laughs> 